All right, we're going to do a quick little video here on how to sit, beat your dog when he doesn't sit, how to um, make a muzzle in case of an emergency. Any dog who's in pain will bite. Your dog will bite, my dog will bite, any dog will bite. That's what dogs do when they hurt. So keep yourself safe. This is very important if you have a dog who gets hit by a car, if you have something traumatic that happens to them. Always muzzle them for your safety. You can use lots of different stuff around the house. This is just a cheapo 50 cent kennel lead. Um, you can use a little bit of rope. The softer the better. You can use the leg off pantyhose. Cut the leg off. If you use something stretchy like pantyhose, make sure you tie it very tightly. You're only going to leave it on a short period of time. Much better to tie it a little bit too tight and, and uh, save your fingers um, and cause a little bit of an abrasion than to get bit and lose a finger. So, very easy. All we're going to do is make a loop. We're going to slide it over the dog's nose. Sit. And you can see how absolutely happy he is with this. You're going to tie it pretty snugly. Then we're going to go back under the dog's nose. We're going to make another tie and tie it very snugly. Then we go back behind the dog's ears and we're just going to tie it in a bow. And voila, you have a muzzle. This bow is not very good on it. So I'm going to reverse my bow sides because I got the long side on the wrong side. Okay, now we got a pretty snug bow and it's very attractive too. You're so handsome, Corey. Um, when you do this, it's not a bad idea to have a pair of scissors on hand if you need to get it off in a hurry. You can always cut it off. You can always, with most dogs, slip it off over their ears if you need to get it off in a hurry and just pull. Voila. If you have a short-faced dog like a Pekingese, a Shih Tzu, a Pug, have fun. <laughs> sometimes you can get them on, sometimes you can't. In a pinch, um, if you happen to have an old e-collar, the Elizabethan collars like we use after surgery to keep them from licking around the house, if you can slide an e-collar on them, that gives you a little bit of a way to manage their body and have them not be able to get around and bite you. So those can be handy to have around. Don't throw them away when you think you're done with them. Stick them in your basement or your garage. But for a normal nose dog to a long nose dog, it's pretty easy to do. Voila. There's your lesson.